Alright guys, Wig, I'm back with the second part of the T-Motor Air Gear 350 set flip build. And I want to show you something I forgot about. The Nase 32 flight controller needs a power source, obviously. Um, usually it comes from your ESCs with BCs in them. Well, these T-Motor ESCs do not have any BCs in them so all you get is a signal and a ground wire in these connectors no power so no worky will not power up your Naze 32 so some people use a spare ESC uh, with a BC in it I chose to pick up an actual BC um, this one here this little tiny one is a let me see if I can do this without shaking too much. Um, is a Castle Creations. It is um, goes from 4.8 to 9 volts output. You can adjust it. Um, that's in some other little software you got to pick up from their page. But as you can see, it has everything you need: signal, power, and ground. One connector, which. The ESC cables do not. So if you're gonna do your Nase 32 with uh, with with ESCs without BECs in them, you're gonna need something like this, or you're gonna need to use a an, an ESC with a BEC in it. To me, I think that's kind of a waste. I don't want to just use a BEC for. I mean, uh, an ESC just for that. I'd rather use it for what it's actually designed for. Yeah. You know, so, but a BEC, that's fine. You can just use that. So I wired that up. That's in here. I'm getting ready to put the center plate on with the flight controller and I'll start to uh, finish wiring it now that I can actually power it and not uh, get my you know receiver and everything set up with it now. Cool. Alright, well, we'll be back. We'll get this wired up and we'll be back and uh, show you what that looks like when I'm done with that. Alright guys, we're back. Uh, here we go. This is the middle plate. Nase 32 wired up for his Four ESC wires coming in on the side here on the right pins, right angle pins. The reason I didn't uh, use the straights uh, straight up and down is because this top plate sits very, very, very low, if you can see that. So it would have hit the wires. So that's the good thing about these things coming with the options. You know, all you have to do is um, solder them up. So I did the four ESC wires and the BEC wire here, which is gonna supply the power. It's in the fifth slot. Doesn't matter where you put it, it doesn't care, as long as you put it on one of them, it has the power coming in. Threw my, threw my receiver on, I use a Futaba. Um, and with this particular build, I'm using PPM. So the Futaba here, this one here has a S bus. So um, I did an S bus to CPPM converter here a little tiny thing just wire that in and this is the connection point for the connection on the nase 32 it's nice it's one wire really makes things neat and clean and a lot better than all these wires running everywhere it just just you know a lot of stuff you got to think about if you really want to do it. Yeah, some people don't like the converters. Uh, they say, you know, whatever, but I, I'm, I don't have a problem with it. I'd rather see one wire coming out. And it gives me a lot more uh, space for, you know, whatever else I'm going to wire on this. I mean, I got the whole front here to put in, a, you know, a camera for FPV, um, you know, transmitters. And my battery is going to go on my top plate, so I don't need, a, you know, I don't need a lot of room for anything up there. Battery I go up here. I mean, I can still mount the camera here in the front, one on the back. Still have plenty of room, and keep yeah. things, keep things from really getting uh, interfered. I have this. That's the one thing about this little 450 I like. There's a lot of real estate. You have a lot of room to put uh, anything you want in here. In here. So well, that's it for now. I'm gonna run down and hook this up to the computer and do some programming on it. And. Uh, We'll, uh, we'll come back then. Thanks. All right, guys, we got uh, we got the board powered up. Uh, made all my settings in the Naze32 software, the ba uh, base flight configurator, 
Um, check my um, motor directions. They're all set. Had to make one change. Got lucky on three of them, which is actually pretty, pretty good. Um, last one, I just switched, flipped the wires. Everything's back to normal. Checked all directions. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if a lot of people do it or not, but I do it on mine. I just throw a piece of tape on them. Take the props off. Throw a piece of tape on here. Spin them up. And I can see what direction they're going. You can feel it, actually, too. So if you notice, one's going counterclockwise, one's going clockwise, you can tell. Um, works out pretty good. Safer. You don't split your hands in a million pieces with some sharp props spinning. Um, outside of that, it's just a pretty easy build. And these 32 uh, configurations in the software are really straightforward I mean there's the, they make you know the base flight's got a GUI now it's not even like you have to use all the CLI commands if you don't want to I mean it's easier to do them in CLI there's not many of them that most probably the average person is going to be using like mine I had to set uh, the uh, PPM setting and I turned off the battery monitor because I throw a battery alarm on all my quads anyway so I can actually hear it instead of um, you know, waiting for some other notification from anything else. All right, I hooked mine right, right into the uh, balance port on the, on the battery itself. So, but that's pretty much it, man. It's it's all set and pretty much ready to go. Unfortunately, it's about 20 degrees outside, maybe a little less with the wind, and we just got uh, about six to eight inches of snow. So I'm kind of kind of hosed, kind of stuck waiting. And I'm just going to throw a top plate on this, finish it up, and I'll uh, show you what that looks like once I finish up, throw the battery on it, and uh, take a look at it when it's completed. Put the props on and get an overall shot of what it looks like all completely set. I'll be right back. Right, as I said, I'll be back. Here's a completed product. Props on, powered up, battery on there, top plate's all tightened up, put on. Like I said, it's got a lot of real estate left. Got some space up behind the battery. There's space back here on this plate. Uh, the front's still wide open for cameras or whatever you want to put on here. I like this frame. I don't know why I uh, never got to it sooner, but it uh, works good. You can see the nays down there glowing in it. It's an acrylic case. Looks pretty cool. It's all powered up. But that's it, man. It's pretty simple, straightforward. Self-tightening props. They're all right. They're not bad. I've seen a couple of them got a couple of little, I don't know if you can see it, and the tips are kind of tweaked on a couple of them. I don't know where they are. Kind of flipped up. Maybe this one over here. Yeah, right here. It's got a little, got a little tiny flip up on there. Uh, we won't be running these for too long, but outside of that, and the rest of this kit, solid. The tight T-motor air gear. 350k. I mean, the ESC is perfect. Small, light motors. Can't beat them. Not that quality, at least. Um, but that's the unit. And any questions? Throw it in the comments. And anything and concerns, questions, ideas. Yeah. But that's it. Thanks for watching the build, man. I'll check you out in the next one.